Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes, and if you're into any, make sure to drop us up. Now in today's video, it's going to be the match preview for the game this Saturday, Blackburn Rovers versus Birmingham City. Yet again, we're playing at Ewood Park this season. We beat, well, we didn't beat them. We lost them 2-1 in the league um, back in October, I believe it was. We definitely didn't deserve to lose that game. We, we completely outplayed Blackburn and somehow lost the game. So yeah, it's it's the FA Cup this time round. Let's get straight on to the opposition team. So Blackburn Rovers, now they currently sit in fourth place in the championship, but they're about 15 points behind second place Sheffield United. It's mad how Burnley and Sheffield United have just run away with the league um, this season in the championship. Their top goal scorer, of course, is Brenton Diaz with 10 goals. They've also got players like Sam Gallagher, who um, had a loan spell at Blues, yeah. And um, you know they beat um, yeah they beat Norwich one 0 away in the, um, in the last round. Now Blackburn in the last five games they've only won one out of the last five. They've drawn one, they've lost three and won one. So they're a team not in form. Can't really say too much to be fair because Blues are the team that are probably the most out of form team in the champion. Well. It's got to be the championship, surely. Uh, I'm not too sure about all the other leagues, but yeah, let's get on to getting on to Blues. Of course, we had um, a disappointing loss to Preston, um, where you know it all boiled over. Really, um, we've um, only won one out of our last God knows how many games, beating our last um, game in the FA Cup. Third round was against Forest Green, we beat them two one. Now the lineup I'll go for. This game, 4-4-2 formation, I think it should be. Neil Everidge in between the sticks. Hopefully he can pull off some heroic saves like he did in the last round against Forest Green. I would have uh, Long and Trusty as the two centre-backs. Graham, left-back. Colin, right-back. The two in the middle, I would have um, Jordan James and uh, Bakuna. And then I'd have Chong on the left, Kadra on the right, and I would start Scott Hogan and Luka Zukovic. Um, I think Luka Zukovic... Definitely deserves to start. Troy Deeney, drop him. Just drop him. After what he said about George Hall as well. That was absolutely disgraceful. And some people actually try to, you know, some people try to back him up for what he said. Like, um, they're trying to make it justified. It's not justified, is it? But the FA Cup, uh, the four, we haven't got to the fourth round in quite a while. It was pre-COVID, like three years ago now. So um, it would be nice to be it would be nice to go on a cup run, of course, because I'm looking at it like I know I said I don't really want us, you know, to win the Forest Green game, but I'm looking at it this season. We've got no chance of playoffs. We've probably got no chance of getting into the top half. Maybe a small, small chance. We're probably going to be in another relegation battle. So the highlight of our season will probably be if it happens a good cup run, and if we get into the fifth round and we get an easy opponent, then you're in the quarterfinals. But we, we never win at Ewood Park. We've got a hor horrendous record here. Are Blackburn going to put out their strongest team? Who knows? Who knows? I mean, they're fourth in the league. Yeah, they're fourth in the league. But I think they're kind of in a false position because they're only like one... A couple of losses for Blackburn in the next couple of games puts them about mid-table. So, you know, I want us to go on a good cup run. Um, do I think it will happen? No. I think it'll be Blackburn 2, Blues 1. I think it'll be a repeat of... Um, the score, like, I think, you know, when we, when they beat us 2-1 back in October, I think it will be an exact repeat of that scoreline. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think. Anyways, we'll keep watching on TV here. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, every match previews are out two days before the game at 7pm. This is being currently recorded about 10 past 3. I don't know why I have to tell you that. But, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, as always. Keep watching on.